Did you know that music can change your brain? It's true. Music isn't just for fun. It has powerful effects on our brains. For example, studies show that listening to music can increase dopamine levels by up to 9%, making you feel happier. Even more surprising, music can help stroke patients recover faster. Imagine using music to boost your memory, reduce stress, or even improve your sleep. Sounds amazing, right? In this video, we'll explore how different beats can sync with your brainwaves, how music therapy works, and why certain songs can make you feel so many emotions. Ready to discover how your favorite tunes are shaping your mind? Let's dive in and see how music is more than just background noise. It's a tool for a healthier, happier brain. Chapter 1. The Power of Rhythm. How Beats Sync with Your Brainwaves. Ever notice how a catchy beat can make you tap your foot without thinking? That's no coincidence. Our brains naturally sync with the rhythm of music. It's called, entrainment, where external rhythms influence our brainwaves. Studies show that listening to music with a tempo of 60 beats per minute can make your brainwaves synchronize with the beat. This can promote a state of relaxation and calm. In fact, a study by the University of California found that rhythmic music can enhance focus and concentration. This is why many people listen to background music while studying or working. It's not just about blocking out noise. It's about getting your brain in the right rhythm. Chapter 2. Melodic Healing – The Science Behind Music Therapy Music therapy isn't just a trendy buzzword. It's a well-established practice. Music therapy can significantly reduce anxiety and depression in patients. The American Music Therapy Association states that music therapy helps in managing stress, improving communication, and enhancing memory. One fascinating example is how music therapy is used in treating Parkinson's disease. Rhythmic auditory stimulation helps patients improve their walking speed and reduce falls. Music therapy also benefits stroke patients by aiding in speech recovery. A study from the Journal of Music Therapy showed that patients who received music therapy regained speech skills faster than those who didn't. Chapter 3. The Memory Melody. How Music Enhances Recall and Cognitive Function. Did you know that music can boost your memory? It's true. When we listen to music, multiple areas of our brain are activated including those involved in memory. A study from the University of Helsinki revealed that classical music can enhance the brain's learning and memory functions. Music also helps Alzheimer's patients recall memories. Songs from their past can trigger memories and improve their mood. This phenomenon is known as the reminiscence bump. Music stimulates the brain in a way that speech alone cannot, making it a powerful tool for memory enhancement. Chapter 4. Emotion Amplifiers. How different genres influence your mood. Music is a powerful mood changer. Different genres can evoke a wide range of emotions. For instance, listening to upbeat music can make you feel happier and more energetic. According to a study by the University of Missouri, people who listen to upbeat music improved their mood significantly. Conversely, sad music can provide comfort when you're feeling down. It might seem counterintuitive, but sad songs can make you feel better by validating your emotions. A study published in the journal Psychology of Music found that sad music can evoke a sense of companionship and empathy. These effects aren't just subjective feelings, they have measurable impacts on our brain chemistry. Listening to enjoyable music releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. This is why your favorite songs can give you chills or make you feel euphoric. Chapter 5. Sonic Seduction – The Role of Music in Romantic Attraction Music plays a huge role in romance. Ever noticed how the right song can set the perfect mood? Researchers at the University of Paris found that women were more likely to give their phone number to men if romantic music was playing in the background. This is because music can enhance feelings of attraction and connection. Couples often have, our song, which reminds them of special moments. Listening to these songs can strengthen their bond. A study published in the journal Psychology of Music showed that shared musical tastes can increase relationship satisfaction. So, next time you're planning a date, think about the playlist. It could make a big difference. Chapter 6. The Soundtrack of Dreams, Music's Influence on Sleep Quality Struggling to get a good night's sleep? Try listening to music before bed. According to the National Sleep Foundation, soothing music can help you fall asleep faster and improve sleep quality. Classical music, in particular, is known for its calming effects. A study from the Journal of Advanced Nursing found that listening to 45 minutes of relaxing music before bedtime can improve sleep quality in older adults. 
the key is to choose slow, soft music with a rhythm of about 60-80 beats per minute. This helps slow down your heart rate and breathing, preparing your body for sleep. Chapter 7. The Brain's Reward System. How Music Triggers Pleasure Centers. Have you ever felt chills when listening to your favorite song? That's your brain releasing dopamine, the feel-good hormone. Music activates the brain's reward system, similar to how we respond to food, sex, and drugs. A study from McGill University found that music can increase dopamine levels by up to 9%. This explains why we often turn to music when we want to feel happy or motivated. Listening to your favorite tunes can provide a natural high and boost your mood. So, if you're feeling down, put on some music. It's a simple and effective way to lift your spirits. Chapter 8. Sound and Productivity. The Role of Music in Enhancing Focus. Can music make you more productive? Absolutely. A study by the University of Birmingham showed that background music can enhance performance on repetitive tasks. Music helps you stay focused and drown out distractions. But not all music is created equal when it comes to productivity. Instrumental music, like classical or electronic, is best for maintaining concentration. Lyrics can be distracting if you're working on tasks that involve language processing. So, next time you need to buckle down, try some instrumental tunes. It might just boost your efficiency. Chapter 9. Cultural Resonance. How Music Shapes Social Identity. Music is more than just entertainment, it's a key part of cultural identity. Think about national anthems or folk songs. These tunes bring people together and foster a sense of belonging. According to the book, Music, Culture, and Society, by William Roy, music is a powerful tool for expressing and shaping cultural values. A study from Stanford University found that people who share similar musical tastes often have a stronger sense of community. Music festivals and concerts are prime examples of this. They're not just about the music, they're about shared experiences and collective identity. So, the next time you find yourself bonding over a song, remember that it's a cultural connection. Chapter 10. Music and Neuroplasticity, Shaping the Brain with Sound. Music doesn't just change how we feel, it can change our brains. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. According to a study in the journal Brain, musicians have more gray matter in areas of the brain responsible for motor control, hearing, and memory. Learning to play an instrument can enhance cognitive functions. It improves skills like attention, memory, and spatial temporal abilities. A fascinating fact from the book, This Is Your Brain on Music, by Daniel Levitin is that even listening to music can increase neuroplasticity. So, whether you're playing or just listening, music is reshaping your brain. Chapter 11. The Stress Buster. Music's Role in Reducing Anxiety and Tension. Feeling stressed? Music might be your best friend. Numerous studies have shown that music can reduce stress and anxiety. A study published in the Journal of Advanced Nursing found that listening to music for an hour a day can significantly lower stress levels in patients. Music helps by lowering cortisol, the stress hormone. It also increases endorphins, which improve mood and relaxation. For example, listening to classical music for just 20 minutes can reduce anxiety levels, according to a study from the University of London. So, next time you feel overwhelmed, put on some calming music and let it soothe your mind. Chapter 12. Future Sounds, Emerging Research on Music and Brain Health. The future of music and brain health is exciting. Emerging research suggests that music might even help fight neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. A study by the Alzheimer's Association found that music can improve the quality of life for people with dementia by reducing agitation and improving communication. Researchers are also exploring how music can aid in stroke recovery. Music can help retrain the brain and improve motor skills. According to the book, Musicophilia, by Oliver Sacks, patients who listen to music daily showed better recovery outcomes. As we continue to understand the brain, music will likely play an even bigger role in healthcare.